Well, hello YouTube, it is me, Tri-State EDC, with one last big kniff. Uh, this one is the, the mystery. I, there's no markings on it, there's no nothing on the damn thing. But it's the last box in the giant box of boxes. And we gotta figure out what's in the last box in the big box of boxes, together, right now. <laughs> That's right, the final bag. The final countdown, baby. Let's see. Let's see what the the big boys have in stock for us. Another uh, another pouch. Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy box. And inside the it and it and inside the pouch. One is this another slip joint? Nice. Nice. I think they have one that's like a crazy Warncliffe. I was hoping they had sent me one. They didn't. That's okay. They sent me literally everything else. Very nice stainless steel. Brush stainless on the bolsters up here. Brush stainless on the back. He a really heavy uh, <laughs> slip joint. And a pretty substantially sized one. Spyderco Pair 3. Excuse me, mustache in my nose. Please go away. Rockwall, right in between these two. Size-wise. little Right at Rockwall size, honestly. A little bit taller, but about the same thickness. About the same girth. A little bit of contouring going on. So, pretty, pretty big. Pretty big for a slippy. Really nice G10 inlays. Got the little stainless shield, some pins, polished pins, nail nick. Very, very nice. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Let's pull her open. Ooh. Oh! Reverse Tonto? Ooh! Yeah, that's a big hefty boy. Hold on. Let me get my clean cloth. Because I got grease. I'm a greasy boy. Need you guys to get the full effect. That is a nice looking profile, man. Very, very nice. Full flat grind? Yeah. Beautiful. Really nice. Tall blade, too. And uh, that half stop is nice. Is very, very nice. Really smooth. Really, really smooth. Nice machine satin. Nice machine satin finish. Damn near mirror polish. Jesus, you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Crazy looking. Open size comparison. Spider Go Pair 3. Yeah, dude, like right at Pair 3 size. That's a big boy. For a slippy. For a modern tradition all. Yeah, right in between these two, once again right in between them so big big for a slip joint not a big knife but big for a slip joint and heavy heavy duty very very nice uh lock up solid no wiggle no play La pretty light on the tension while opened so you don't want to put your thumb out here and push on it because you're going to close it on your hand right you don't want to do this but ergo's in hand nice contoured handles choke back yeah easy four finger grip thumb right about here that feels good get your cutting done no problem you can wiggle up but it's, again, you don't want to put, like, any pressure on this blade at all. You're going to chop your, your index finger off. I've done it before. Go back and watch some of my older slip joint reviews. Just, you know, if you don't like blood, don't watch it. But yeah, that feels good. I'm locked in. Can I pinch grip this guy? I can. Again, pinch grip and slip joints can be a little sus if you don't have enough spring tension going on. But I feel good right about here. Nice sharpening choil to nestle into. Pretty substantial sharpening choil. Very good. Again, action. Really, really smooth. Really light pull. Like a maybe a four or five on the open and the close. Tons of blade sticking up when it's closed. So it's really easy to get a hold of. Pop it open. And that being a mirror polish, if you're as greasy as me, look at that. Look at it. It's disgusting. I'm a grease boy. To be fair, Mike McLaughlin did buy me a, a Big Mac on the live stream earlier today. So it is what it is. You know, I'm just going to be a greasy boy forever. That's why I have towels. You know? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Silky smooth. I love the noise. Endlessly satisfying. <laughs> I don't know what it is about slip joints, man. I don't know what it is. But I like it. I like it. Now then, Future Me, uh, what is this called? Uh, also, Future Me, Blade Steel? D2, VG10. What are, we, what are we looking at here? 154? I have no idea. I have no idea. All I know is that Reverse Tonto is clean looking. I just love that profile. Again, such a cool looking blade. Um, pretty thick blade stock for a, uh, for a slip joint as well. Pretty substantial blade stock. So not a thin and dainty boy by any means, but uh, she'll get the job done. I do want to cut something. Uh, let me grab some paper rack quick. Well, she cut. 
Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, full flat grind. Oh, God, yeah. Dude, I've never handled a big knife with a bad factory edge. I don't know who their OEM is. I mean, all their knives are made overseas, but they're made really, really well. Um, and that's coming from a guy who's not really a big, big fan for the longest time. I was converted. I was converted, obviously. Because that's sick. Feature me a uh, price on this guy. Do we have any idea? Is it even available? I don't know if these are, like, new from Blade Show. We're, like, a couple weeks out from Blade Show. Like, they just happened a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, I like this. I really, really like this. Um, the other slip joint they sent me was nice, too. This little pea shooter. This little cutie patoot. Uh, now I definitely want to check out the Warmcliffe variant of this. Because that's right up my alley. But that is that! Uh, dog, again, I don't know what it's called. Let me towel it off again, because I'm a filthy, dirty grease boy. I have no idea what it's called. But there it is. Links down below if I can find it. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, become a channel member, Patreon member, and me up on the Instagrams, the TikToks, the threads. Plenty of content out there for you to, in to, to, to enjoy, ingest, and shit out. But that is it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I already said that. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.